running f not too many years where this suddenly the signal appeared. And every day, we'd look at that spot in the sky, day after day, about like a hundred days or so. We never saw it again. But it was clearly there. I mean, it was not a fluke. It was there in the beam of the telescope for about a minute. Well, that's an eon compared to the, what the radio telescope can do, so it was positively there. Even more interesting, since we have two beams in the sky at the same time, it was there in one and gone in the other. Which means while we were looking at it, it probably turned off. And then we did a lot of searching to see, are there any known Earth satellites in that position? No. Are there any other astronomical objects like the moon or planets or nearby stars or distant galaxies? No. It's a very random, routine position in the sky. There's nothing obvious there that it could have come from. And so we've done everything we can to analyze this. And in fact, other people have used other telescopes to look in the same position and have found nothing. Was this a signal from some other civilization? Uh, it's, it's become known as sort of the classic of what people might look for. Or was it from some unknown man-made spacecraft, maybe a secret satellite run by the military, that's somewhere cruising around doing we don't know what that they'll never admit to, transmitting in an illegal frequency because this was a frequency allocated for radio astronomy? We don't know the answer to that, and we will never know. Why do we anything new? Why does mankind do anything new? Because it's there. Astronomers have always searched the universe to find new and interesting things. The most exciting question has always been, are we alone? Are there other intelligent beings somewhere in the universe? We can't think of any reason why we are different here and why life wouldn't have evolved anywhere else. And so the scientific method is to look. But we knew from the very beginning that we may never solve this problem in our lifetime. This is one of the most difficult scientific problems that anybody has ever set out to solve. Humans have incredible power, collectively and individually. This problem will be solved, I have faith in that. We will find the answer and we will decode that signal, whatever it is.